What's up, my lovely Leos? Uh, I feel like I'm experiencing round two of yesterday <laughs> with you guys that I had with my Scorps. But so let's go ahead and get into the reading for you. Um, I'm going to just do another shuffle here. I had a whole little spread out. Um, so mm, I feel like there's a message being blocked. Okay, so for sure. We were talking about a Libra and a, we had Libra energy, air energy, deceptive energy, water energy. Um, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, uh, the magician. So definitely some magic manipulation, uh, and a situation that's caused loss here. So I don't know what's going on, but apparently that message was being blocked. So we're just going to go ahead and reshuffle the cards and see what's going on again with you guys. Okay. So spirit angels, ancestors, guides. Please help me provide Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Sorry, and there was something about sunlight. I feel like you needed sunlight or needed to be out in the light because when I was thinking about doing your reading, um, I, uh, felt like we needed to be outside, right? It feels good out. It's beautiful. It's sunny. I'm actually kind of, I'm in a sweatshirt and I feel like I should, we've, it's like 70. It's amazing. Um, so I feel like uh, if you're not out, you need to get out and get that vitamin C, okay? Um, I don't know what the weather is like wherever you are, but I feel like Spirit is urging you. If you can't get out, maybe that's why they urged me to do this video outside for you. But um, All right, let's draw this new spread and see what's up with you guys. And now I've got only about 15 minutes. I was hoping I could spend longer, but I was in about 10 minutes and it just cut off. <sighs> All right. We've got a new relationship, Sagittarius energy, um, a wheel of fortune, the karmic cycle of completion here though. So something possibly has happened with you and a Sagittarius energy um, and there's a change in partner here or you're involved possibly, new involvement here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, okay? Um, yeah, Prince of Cups, Two of Swords. Somebody needed to make a decision here or needs to make a decision and they're not though. In regards to this situation, why? third party energy um, and hangman energy here showing up as well okay so um, somebody doesn't want to see the truth here in a situation somebody's being manipulated in a situation I just heard okay so again Sagittarius energy Pisces Cancer Scorpio the wheel of fortune though so this person um, ooh, it's the energy of like the Wheel of Fortune here. What is this? Ace of Cups with a Temperance, Needing Balance, the Empress Energy, um, New Baby. Somebody could be pregnant here um, or be careful if you don't want to get pregnant, okay? With the Ace of Cups and the Empress Energy, Leo. It's this energy of, you know, uh, <laughs> pregnancy, fertility, okay? Could be a pregnancy. If it's not an actual human being, it can be um, ideas, some kind of... Uh, new project here okay um oof. two of cups energy though um but this is involving a romantic partnership here okay possibly a water sign pisces cancer scorpio energy what is this temperance energy three of rods in reverse so um i feel like there's no expansion here okay or there won't be okay sagittarius energy maybe there was talk of expansion here but that's not happening now okay what is this karmic wheel of fortune why is this not happening now third party energy right um let's see two of pentacles somebody's juggling here taurus virgo capricorn energy Ten of Pentacles. This is the ending of a commitment here. So somebody could be in a commitment, a marriage. Okay, that could be an ending of a marriage. Um, somebody could be married. Yeah, be careful. You don't want to end up pregnant with somebody married here either, and you don't know it. Um, nine of Rods energy. Uh, there's a lot of anxiety in, in regards to this situation connection here. Okay, what is this Prince of Cups energy? 
there's no success here, okay? There's no success here. There's somebody, you're dealing with somebody that's married for somebody here. I'm sorry, and I hate to say it, but there's third party energy and you're not like, you're not trying to see it here either with the two of swords energy in reverse. It's like, you don't even want to think about anything here. You're like, it's like pink cloud. You're on a pink cloud. You believe everything somebody is saying to you, I feel like, but there's third party energy and stuck energy here. All right. So I feel like spirit is saying, if this is you, wake the F up, right? So see things for what they are. What is this two of swords energy? The wheel of fortune in reverse. So it's like your karmic cycle is done here. You've already done your karmic time. And it's like, I feel like spirit is saying you're repeating a pattern. Okay. You're repeating, somebody's repeating a pattern here. Okay. With the wheel of fortune. Um, yeah. And it's going to create the five of cups. It's, it's, it's going to create loss. See how there's blood on the ground too. Um, it, it, it could be lost in any way, shape, or form here, but I feel like there could also be something something bad here happening. Be careful. You know what I'm saying? If you're involved in a third-party situation, if you're involved with somebody that's married and their wifey finds out or something like that, you know what I'm saying here? That's crazy. That's what that looks like, all right? A lot of loss and regret, but blood on the ground here in a situation. What is this three of swords energy? Queen of swords. You need the truth. You deserve the truth, all right? This is this energy of seeking the truth okay again it's like maybe you're ignoring the truth here or wanting to ignore the truth but there's something here showing up that you can't what is this three of swords energy wow all right so it's like yeah there's an energy of somebody trying to manipulate you and you've been feeling it you just haven't wanted to talk about it or admit it here showing up all right so hangman energy eight of swords page of rods a lot of sexual messaging going on um but still two of rods energy kink so a lot of sexual attraction maybe the sex is really good too okay but it's the energy of it's stuck it's not going anywhere challenges clarity judgment yeah it's like this person lives with somebody i also just saw the four of rods you don't know that person actually lives with somebody um so again it's either marriage or a commitment like marriage nine of pentacles so like you're not even focused on your own coins here um nine pinnacles in reverse three of swords yeah it's distracting you this third party energy is, is also kind of it's going to if you're not careful i feel like the message here too is it's, it's going to mess up your coins if you're in the situation all right whatever you're building here for yourself financially there's third party energy whatever could happen you could be taken to court too is what i just heard as well so that could have something to do with that if um somebody's spouse finds out okay Eight of Pentacles, yeah, and it's like everything you work hard for down the toilet. So, um, Page of Wands, be careful messages. This person could be messaging you and it's the actual uh, spouse. I've had that come through before. Fire energy, again, uh, Sagittarius. I feel like somebody's a Sag here. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, about expansion here, sexual, like, I feel like a lot of sexting sex messages, but somebody's not really who they th say they are here in something. It's interesting. King of Wands. This person is like uh, very, very attractive.